Drawing templates contain all of the information you need to start creating a new drawing. And if you're working for a company, you'll more than likely have to use a custom drawing template to maintain consistency across the organization. For instance, to set the default units, drafting settings, line type, layouts, viewports, and scales to name a few. If you want to use a drawing to create a custom template, first you need to make sure to prepare your drawing. In this example, I already have a drawing created and want to utilize the work I've done to create a drawing template. First, let me delete all of the objects from the model space. I'll enable the Erase command from the Modify panel. Type All to select everything, and then press Enter to execute the command. Next, I'll make sure the units are set up properly. To check, I'll type Units and press Enter. I'll make sure the length precision is set to two decimal places, and the angle precision to four. The units are fine in millimeters, and I'm not worried about lighting settings, so I'll click OK. I'll set the limits next, so I'll type Limits. Set the lower left corner to 0, 0, and the upper right corner to 20,000 by 20,000. Then zoom extends by double clicking the mouse wheel. Next, I'll go to the Layers panel and make sure that none of the layers are turned off, frozen, or locked. The Viewports layer is set to Not Plot, and set the Active layer to Walls. As a final step, I'll switch through each Layout tab and make sure that none of the viewports are locked and are empty. With that done, the drawing is ready to be converted into a drawing template file. When I create a drawing using this template, I want it to open to the first Layout tab, so I'll switch to that tab. Now, I'll click Save As. And for the name, I'll type ISO A3 Metric Template. When I switch the file type to a DWT file, notice the file location automatically switches to the default template folder. I'll click Save, and the Template Options box appears. I'll give the template the same description as the name of ISO A3 metric template. Make sure the measurement is set to Metric. Leave the New Layer Notification setting at the default, and click OK to save it. The name across the top now updates with the template name, and I can now load this template when creating any drawing. 